while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. You ever heard you in Israelite? Yeah. Yeah, you have? So you know you in Israelite? Yeah, I know that right now. How long you know you in Israelite? Man, for a long time. For a long time. time. You supposed to be over here with us, bro. I know, I know that, man. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. Read that, Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. So this Bible is the book of the commandments of God. In other words, the rules of God. The guidelines of how we're supposed to live our lives. Read. And the law that endured forever. It does what? Endured forever. The law endures forever. When you go to the Christian church, they tell you the laws are done away with. But the Bible don't say that. They let you know that if you're going to create, you're following after Christianity, get up out of there as fast as you can. Because they're teaching you lies. They, 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 they turn you away from your God. Read. <laughs> All they that keep it shall come to life. So when you keep the commandments, you're going to come to life. Right now, we ain't in, we ain't living no life. This ain't life right here. But when we, when we faithful in keeping the commandments, we got patience, keeping God's commandments. When Christ do come back, we gonna really see what life is. Right. Cause he gonna bring us up out of this state, of, state that we in. The scripture say that it ain't gonna be no more crying, ain't gonna be, it, we gonna see, we gonna see what real life is. This ain't life. That's right. Read. But such as lead it shall die. If you're not keeping the commandments, it says you shall die. And this is deeper than you, your body, somebody shooting you and you, your body dies, spirit, no. It says you shall die, meaning your soul and spirit gonna die. The most high God is gonna put your spirit to death. You gonna burn forever. Eternity, this talking about eternal death. It ain't talking about you die, you got shot, no. It's deeper than that. Read. Turn thee, O Jacob. And take heed of it. So what, what are we supposed to do? Take heed of God's laws. Meaning we gotta now. You know you you know you Israel. You're learning that you Israel. My brother learning that he Israel. You gotta start reading the Bible and start applying it. You gotta read it to apply it. Because that's what if you what's the purpose of knowing it? You're not gonna apply it. You might as well just stay and continue doing your wickedness. Because if you know, you actually gonna get a worse judgment. Because you know better. Read. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou may be illuminated. It says walk in the presence of the light thereof. The light is God's law. So meaning apply the God's laws and be illuminated. Meaning you're going to receive understanding. So now, now the question is, okay, what are some of the commandments we're supposed to keep? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak, on, speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. So in 19 he says, speak unto the, all the congregation of the children of Israel. So this is something that goes to all the Israelites. He's speaking to all Israel. Look at 27. Verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shalt thou maw the corners of thy beard. So he says, you shall not round the corners of your head. What that mean? You know what that means? So it says, you said you shall not round the corners of your head. Keep that in mind. Keep that thought. Read. Neither shall thou mother thy co the corner of thy beard. Read that again. Neither shall thou mother the corner of thy beard. So it says, neither shall thou mar the corner of your beard. Y'all know what mar mean? What does it mean to mar? Uh, mar means destroy. So if it says, neither shall thou destroy the corners of your beard. Now, think, keep those and it says, you should not round the corners of your head, and you should not mar the corners of your beard. Read that in 21 and 5. The 21 and 5 gonna say it very plain. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So the Israelite man, you're not supposed to bald your head. Like, and a lot of our brothers do it. Like Michael Jordan, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Charles Barkley. A lot of our men follow after they start going bald and they save it all off. We not supposed to do that. If you going forehead bald, whatever head you got, let it grow. You ain't supposed to be cut it, trim it low, but don't cut, don't bald your head. Because why? Because that was a cut. At this time when it was written, we came out of the land of Egypt. That was an Egyptian custom. That was never our custom. We always had our, we always grew our beard. 
This is the most high, and believe it, if you know whether you know it or not, in Leviticus 21 and 5, this is the most high reintroducing us to the law. Similar to today. We coming out of the dead state, not knowing who we are, not knowing we the Israelites, and we are being reintroduced to God's law. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. The Israelite man not supposed to shave off the corner of his beard. We're supposed to let our beard grow. Now, you miss some of us, some of us only got a small beard. Whatever you got, you gotta let it grow. But if you can grow right. a full beard, let that full beard grow. You ain't supposed to cut, you ain't supposed to walk around with no chin strap. Mask can't grow. No, nah, your, yours can grow. I can see it. And I can see that you've been cutting. Yeah, because yeah, it's growing yeah, back. Yeah. You gotta let it grow. And, and think about it. This is the commandment of God. What happens when you shave your beard? Right, bring it out. That is the very face. It's the face. But what happens though? You get hair bumped. You get hair bumped. That's a judgment. Because when you start growing it back, like I use myself for example, when I first started growing my beard back, when I stopped shaving it, it was hurting. I was getting ingrown hairs all over the place. But once it came in, I ain't, I ain't had no ingrown hairs. I ain't had none of that. Because we're supposed to have our beard. Right. A lion. How you tell a male lion from a female lion? The man. So as Israelite men, you're supposed to have your beard. Why, what? Now when you, now all of us, all of us are older. When you was 12, 13, you had that first little hair grow, you was happy about it. But then as you grew older, you was happy when you first started getting the head. But then you grew older and what happened? You started getting the job. You started getting the job, job say, no, nah, you gotta be clean shaven. And then we start shaving it. You got a goatee, a, a, chin, a chin strap. And then we, even if, even if we had a job where we can grow our beard, we just were so accustomed to cutting it off, we just kept cutting it off. But we had to, you got to get all these chemicals and all this different cream to get rid of the hair bumps. Just grow your beard. Because that's what the Most High God wants us to do. Grow your beard. Why, why do we, we, as men, we grow a beard. Uh, the, uh, the, the beard is a badge of manly dignity. When you got a beard, you walk, because what's the purpose? What's the purpose of growing up? As a baby, as an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, you got a baby face. What's the purpose of getting grown, you growing up, you, get, you, you become a grown man, you become of age, you got a beard, now you're shaving it off, and now you're looking like a baby. Right. Bring it out. That don't make no sense. You a man now, let your beard grow. That's right. Because a lot of, a lot of, you got children, even us, when we was children, our, our fathers, we seen they beard, we walking around putting soap on our feet, we trying to be like our father, those of us that had seen our fathers. So why would we get, we get grown, we cutting our beard off? That don't make no sense. Right. We gotta get rid of, we gotta push away the customs of this world and apply what the scriptures say, read. That's right. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Y'all know what that means? When they say they should make, you should not make any cuttings in your flesh. Tattoos. Tattoos. Right. We are not supposed to get tattoos. That's, That's right. not what we're supposed to do. I know you, you, if you got some, you got them. But now, now you, now you know that, don't do it no more. Don't get no more tattoos. That's, right. That's repentance. Because that's what we're supposed to do. As you, as you hear this word, you hear this Bible, give me one more, Numbers 15 and 38. Numbers chapter 15 and 38. This is one more thing that as men, we must apply. This is the whole nation of Israel. Read that. This is the book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Again, and speak unto the children of Israel. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. C command them that they make them fringes. What is a fringe? Y'all know what a fringe is? Yeah, fringe. You know what a fringe is? Fringe. Fringe? Fringe. Read. A fringe. A fringe. It says bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Fringes is what you see us have on the bottom of our shirts. All of us, and even on the garment, on the, those of us that had a garment on. That's a fringe. These are fringes. You can have them like this, where you attach them either. We attach them to the shirt, and you also can have them where they are part of the shirt. But it's fringes. Read. Throughout their generation. It says throughout their generation. So this law is forever. 
from generation to generation. You're supposed to wear them, your son's supposed to wear them. We're supposed to get it from our grandfathers, but we didn't because we've been cut off from our heritage. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. And on that fringe, you got a border of blue. Put a border blue on top of it, and what's the purpose of the fringe? Read. And it shall be unto, unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all friends is that we look upon it and, and remember we, all the commandments. And remember the commandments of God. Because if you got these fringes on, you go in this store and the sister walk in there half naked and you start to look, see your friends is like, you know what? That's against God's commandment. That's a not commit adultery. If any man look at a woman to lust after her, that's adultery. You remember the commandments and you turn the other way. You stay in the spirit, you apply the commandments. You don't go after your lust and chase after the, 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 the woman with the big butt. The friends just help you remember that. Because you press up against your friends, it's like, ah, oh, you know what? I ain't gonna do that. Because these friends is representative of us being the nation of Israel. All right. When people, when the nation see these friends, they know who we are. That's right. Because the, the nation of Israel was given these laws. Read. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart, that your eye at your own heart and your own eyes after which ye use to go a harder. So the reason that we got these friends, so we don't seek after our own heart, our own man, what we want to do. But we seek after we keep, our, keep we keep us in check to God's law. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.